Okay, so we say that a sequence AN is monotonically increasing if A1 is no bigger than A2, which is no bigger than A3, which is no bigger than A4, and so forth. So, if every term is at least as big as the previous term, so this, the sequence is increasing or remaining constant. That's why we don't just use the term increasing, but monotonically increasing. A sequence AN is monotonically decreasing if A1 is larger than or equal to A2, which is again is larger than or equal to A3 and so forth. So if every term is no larger than the previous term, so the sequence is decreasing, the terms are either getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but they are also allowed to remain constant. And we said a sequence is monotonic if it is either monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing. So always just think of, it's really just increasing or decreasing, so the sequence is getting larger, the sequence is getting smaller, but we allow the terms to remain constant for any period of time. Let's look at a few examples. What if we take quite simply the root of n sequence? So the first few terms are root of 1, which is 1, root of 2, root of 3, root of 4, and so forth. And this sequence is clearly monotonically increasing as the square root is an increasing function. And when the argument gets bigger, the square root gets also larger. So we know that. The root of 1 is at most the root of 2, which is at most the root of 3, which is at most the root of 4, and so forth. <coughs> Sorry. And we can show this, if you recall, all we have to show is that every consecutive term is at least as big as the previous term. So as we move forward by one step in the sequence, so we go from n to n plus 1, the terms are at least as big as the previous term. So we can prove this as a n is the root of n and a n plus 1 is the root of n plus 1. So is it true that the root of n plus 1 is larger than or equal to the root of n? Well we can square both sides both are non-negative, and the square function is increasing, so if we square both sides, then we'll have that n plus 1 is at least as big as n. And this is clearly true. If you subtract n on both sides, this is the same as saying that 1 is at least 0. Check. So indeed, our sequence is monotonically increasing. The terms are getting larger and larger and larger as we move along every step of the sequence. a n plus 1 is always at least a n. What about this sequence? one over n. Let's write the first few terms. So 1 over 1 is 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 quarter, and so forth. So we can see we are dividing 1 by terms that are getting larger and larger and larger. So of course the reciprocal is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So 1 is larger than 1 half, which is larger than 1 third, larger than 1 quarter, and so forth. So here, the sequence is 
strictly decreasing, but again, it is monotonically decreasing as well. And again, we can prove this by showing that an plus 1 is smaller than or equal to the previous term an. So as we move further by one step in the sequence, the term we obtain is smaller than or equal to its previous value. Well, an is 1 over n. an plus 1 is 1 over n plus 1. So is it true that for every n, 1 over n plus 1 is at most 1 over n? Well, as n is positive, we can cross multiply, so we'll have n is at most n plus 1. And we can subtract n on both sides, and clearly this is true. 1 is at least 0. So the sequence 1 over n is monotonically decreasing. It is also strictly decreasing in the same way that the sequence root of n was monotonically increasing, but also strictly increasing, as every term is strictly larger than the previous term. What about this sequence? Negative 1 to the n over n. Well, let's write the first few terms and let's see what's happening here. So when n is 1, we have negative 1 over 1, so negative 1. And then we'll have really just 1 over n, but this will alternate between positive and negative 1 forever. So we'll get then positive 1 half, negative 1 third, positive 1 quarter, negative 1 over 5, and so forth. So is this sequence monotonic? Is it either monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing? Well, let's see. Let's visualize the sequence, and the answer will become apparent. So a1 is negative 1, so here's a1, then a2 is positive 1 half, then a3 is negative 1 third, then a4 is positive 1 fourth, a5 is negative 1 over 5, a6 positive 1 over 6, a7, negative 1 over 7, and so forth. So is the sequence monotonically increasing? Well, let's see. It gets bigger for the first step, then it gets smaller. Then it gets bigger, then it gets smaller, then it gets bigger, then it gets smaller and forever because of this oscillation in sign. So are the terms getting larger every step or equal? The answer is no. Every other step it will be decreasing. So the sequence is not monotonically increasing, and for the same reason, it is not monotonically decreasing. Every half step, for every second step, the sequence will be getting larger. So A1 from A2, it's getting larger, then we're getting smaller. Then it's getting larger, then smaller, then larger, then smaller, and so forth. And this will continue forever. So the terms are never getting bigger or constant, and they're never getting smaller and constant. So this sequence is not monotonic. And that's it. So always remember that the term monotonic simply means that the sequence is allowed to remain constant for a while. So when you say the sequence is monotonically increasing, 
the terms are getting larger or constant. When you say monotonically decreasing, the terms are getting smaller or constant. And if it's monotonic, then it must either be monotonically increasing or decreasing. And that's it.